हेलो गाइस वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल राहुल ऑटोमेशन स्टूडियो सो हे गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द डिफरेंट एक्स पाथ एक्सिस सो व्हाई द एक्स पाथ एक्सिस आर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड व्हाई यू शुड लर्न अबाउट द एक्सिस सो इन द एक्स पाथ इफ यू आर राइटिंग एक्स पाथ डेफिनेटली यू विल बी फेसिंग मेनी चैलेंजेस टू फाइंड आउट अ यूनिक एक्स पाथ एंड व्हिच विल बी वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स टू फाइंड आउट so in that case you have to be use the x path axis for the complex and dynamic x path so basically what are different x path axis are there so that you can use and easily you can find out your unique x path because many times there will be no unique id there will be no unique class right there will be no unique locators so that you can locate it uh, very easily so in that case you have to use the x path axis so how you can use uh, x path axis i will tell you first of all we will see different x path axis so they are basically different x path axis are ancestor parent child descendant preceding following and the following siblings so basically these are the different axis that we can use to find out the complex x path in your test cases right guys so let's see one by one and i will be showing you practical how you can use and how you can identify a unique x path in your dom right so first of all let's create a one java class and then we will proceed further so this is a selenium maven project guys and i am going to create a one new file in it so just right click on it and create a new java class so we will give the name as a x path axis and we will include the main method in it so just click on this check box and after that click on a finish so once you will click on a finish and the class will be created for you and you can see there is one main method where you can write down your code right guys so i have we already have the code to launch a chrome browser and to open a url so i will just copy it and i will explain you this also so what exactly is written in this code so basically in this code we are setting one property for the chrome driver.exe file and this is the property name and after it this is the path of this particular chrome driver.exe file if you are going to run your test case in different browser in that case you can use the different driver.exe file guys okay just change the x path in it and after that we are just creating a chrome driver class object and we are storing in a web driver interface reference variable and then we are using this reference variable to load the url to launch a particular url in the browser so this is the like url and after that we are just maximizing our browser window so that it can be uh, on the full screen right guys so i have one example where we can see different kinds of uh, these uh, x path axis so just we will browse that particular url this is basically a travel domain website where we can book the flights hotels and uh, visa tours and exa exactly guys you can see this kind of uh, you know projects is getting used in different company and once you get a project like this you have to work on such kind of application so i have taken a real life time example so same also you can use for your selenium practice guys so this is basically a flight module i am going and in the flight module you can see del is for basically delhi hyd is for the hyderabad so i am searching a flight from delhi to hyderabad on one way and class economy and on this particular day 29 june 2022 with the one adult so i am just searching this result and the result will display to me so on that page on the flight result page we will see uh, different kinds of x path axis how you can use to locate a very complex x path for you right guys so just right click on it and just run as java application we will launch this url and then we will inspect our elements the elements with the help of x path axis how you can locate it guys so we will see one by one 
and based on that guys you can use in your test cases these are very helpful guys if you want to find out a complex expert uh, where the locators for the web elements basically don't not having unique id or unique class you know such kind of attributes are not there unique in that case you can definitely use this type of access to find out the unique expert so this is a page guys definitely you can see the front end is so good and definitely in travel website if you are automating the test cases you will find same kind of interface and you have to write down your test cases to based so like filtration fil based on the filter you have to select any flight or fare and then you have to proceed further to book the particular flight right guys so we will just go one by one and we'll see how we can do it so first of all we will see about the parent one so parent is one and sister and what is the benefit of it so just right click on it we will just click on inspect and uh, we will try to locate a element with the help of a parent axis so i will just zoom it more just maximize this and this one i will maximize this window also right so let me go one by one so let me see this is a div this is a div right so actually guys i'm just trying looking for an element so that where i can locate a parent one right so what i am looking for actually so I, so I will just show you how how you can use it so this is just an expert just we will be locating this expert right so how we can locate with the help of a text we can locate this element right this is a unique expert so i am telling you about using the parent ancestor so in that case you just have to write double slash uh, double slash is basically for the relative x part so same you have to use after that just write down the parent and two time you have to use the colon just like the scope resolution operator guys and after that just write down the star so you can see so it is showing you the parent value right so you see guys always that uh, this x path axis you have to take as a relationship so like one child is there so definitely that child is having the parent right so like that it will not be like more than one right so that's why always the result will be show like this only so you can see we were on the pay and right and it is showing the parent value this one complete one so if you want to see and definitely it will be locating this particular div for you so how is this you can locate uh, any particular web element with the help of a parent axis guys right now i will show you some different one in the similar way like ancestor is there so we can use a ancestor in place of parent just replace it with ancestor and keep a small a guys right so this is the ancestor so basically what uh, what ancestor about is so ancestor is basically about if you want to go on you know parent to parent right one child is there you want to go on the parent you will use parent but if you want to go on parent of parent so in the, like a grandfather right grandfather grandfather parent of a grandfather grandfather of a uh, parent right so like this if you want to go so in that case you have to use as a ancestor so it will point out on all the ancestors of that particular current uh, div or current locator so the current locator is signed up to unlock and 
it will and after that if you are writing as ancestor so it will locate all the parent of this particular i mean parent to parent uh, divs or the web elements so it is having 11 so like that you can see guys so just see it if you will see it will go by parent to parent only parent after that parent so i'm parents means to say this this div was the parent of this this div was parent of this div so like that in the in this way it will be go parent to parent right our super parent is the html one so it is locating after that it's going on body right and after that it is going on another element this main content after that this right you can see it is going one by one guys so this is on the this one next is this one by one guys it is going one by one on the parent to parent suppose you want to locate any particular div after it right so definitely you can refer it with the help of uh, no with the help of a div it is on the ninth one so you can write it like slash slash div uh, just remove you have to remove the star and just you have to write on the div so which div this one only right which div you want to locate so you can locate it, not an issue. Whose class is having a now row? So you can also write it like that also, guys. At the rate class equal to row. So there are two, two parents. So I want to locate, uh, we will see which one first and second first. So second, so we want to locate it the second you can use the indexing just close square bracket to close just go on home open bracket so this one so like this you also you can locate any parent uh, web element guys of that particular so it is locating this after that also if you want to go on the sign up you can use anything guys so you are on this div and inside this div also you can look up for the sign up element also so how you can do so after this this is an anchor tag whose text value is having sign up value so you guys you can see you was on the sign up you was locating this sign up web element but with the help of this and after that you have used ancestor and you have reached on the sign up also so you can locate this element right like this also guys you can you know you can use it so i will just show you you can click on it right so you have to you have to use driver dot find element by dot x path and what is the x path this is the x path that we are using ancestor for it and after that, what we will do, I will do a click on it. So dot click. So one bracket is missing one, two, right? Give one more bracket. dot click is the method right so just you can save it like this it is saying this is missing we will write it again not an issue guys okay mm -hmm. sometimes it starts the error if uh, we have removed it yes it, yeah so now it is done and now i will write down it again 
driver dot find element by dot xpath put double quotes write down the xpath in it dot click right so dot click we are going to use so now just we will try to run the test case just right click on it run as a java application so it will open this page then it will click on the sign up guys so basically guys i am just showing you an example but if you have required because every time the html page or dom will be different for your application definitely you can use based on your requirement just i'm telling you how you can use i know that we can locate the element in different way also or in a direct way also but definitely you will be required for your test case that you can't locate it directly so i'm just telling you how you can use the ancestor so just learn how you can use the ancestor and how you can use it to locate the web element for you right just don't look at uh, the time referring element which we can easily locate but you can use the same concept where you can't directly locate the web element right so you can see it has clicked on the sign up and our test case is passed right so it is done so i will just comment out this line and in the similar way i'm just showing you we have seen parent we have seen ancestor i will show you as a child so how it will be what different elements it will show to you so for this child we have to see one example guys right we'll see for the it is not having any child right so we will be locating one element which is having the child so we will locate this particular div first of all and we will see all the child in so just write down the x path for it this is a ul at the rate class equal to value so simply we are locating with the help of a class right so we have located it now we i want to see how many different childs are there under this particular div right so relative x but double slash child scope resolution operator and star star is basically used for the every tag that right? uh, either it is a div or input or a button so it doesn't matter for this it will count all that all the particular tags for the star if you write any specific like a div then it, in that case it will calculate or find out only the div so that also guys you can use so i'm just using a star because i want to show you how many different charts that it is showing for this particular div so we have located this particular div right this web element inside this how many child are there 20 childs are there so first one it is showing this definitely it is a child of this particular uh, web element right i will just zoom it more so that you can see it so this is a child of this particular div now which is the next one this is the child again of this particular li div again you can see this input input is a child of this particular div right so it will find out all the div all the child uh, element under that particular web web locator you can see so total there are 20 so we are on the stop 3 right 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 like this so we have done so you can see it is look, uh, going one by one direct stop one stop two and stop three you can see guys it will go on all the particular childs you can see all the childs it is going one by one look at the stop one stop two stop three so these are all the child div under that particular flight scope right suppose if you want to look at any particular child we can use it guys what you have to do just uh, double slash so we can use as a label what label so text is equal to what suppose we want to click on the stop one just to use this x uh, use this text value here so we have located a 
child element under the uh, flight scope, guys. So this is how you can use as a child tab. You don't have to go, uh, you know, div div by div. First you will go in li, then you have you will go in the div, and then you will go in the label like that. You don't have to write it, guys. Simply just you can use a child tag and. Uh, so here also what we can do guys, we can remove this also. No need for writing the star because directly we will check out for the label div and label div we are looking whose text value is equal to stop one. So we are looking for it. This is a text value. Right guys? So this is how you can do it. You can locate any particular uh, web locator. Right, guys. So this is how you have to do it, guys. Now, one more I will explain you uh, the end uh, this axis. Chakla, I want to explain you about the preceding siblings also, guys. So I mean, I want to just see if it, it should follow actually. Right. So I will explain you the following sibling. What is it is so see guys you have located this particular text right and if you see for the direct this is for the direct you you don't have to click on the text value guys right you have to click on this radio button if you want to locate the radio button you can see this is for the radio button this is for the radio button this is for the radio button. So you don't have to click on the text. You have to click on the uh, radio button, right? But if you look out uh, on the HTML structure of this, it is the same, similar, right? Radio, radio filter, see filter, all type this radio, radio type, almost value is like similars, right? Here you can see ID, we have given it five. This is a number, this ID is given to 10. This is a number, right guys? But every time it will not be same, it will be different, right? Number can be different. If they are changed in backend, every time you're not going to check the ID and then you will change it, right? So in that case also, what you can do, you can just, uh, we can remove this extra we don't need to go in the child now uh, right simply we can locate this but we want to click on this element we want to click on the radio button so what you will do you can do you can see this we are locating this particular element but what about the input input is basically the preceding sibling right so we will just try it on this preceding sibling just yeah you can see so we can locate it with the help of a preceding sibling directly you can't locate this element because every time if value changed you will not be able to locate this particular web element so it is always better it is always suggested guys you can use that text right stop one stop two direct and after using this value as a text you can locate its uh, preceding value that's a recommended uh, uh, things, guys. So you can use it like this, and then you use the click on it. So I will show you how you can do it. Okay. So you have to write down driver dot find element by dot x path double quote. After that, we have to do the click right, and in double quote, we will write down the x path. We will just close uh, this browser, no need of now. And in this, we are finding out all the X path. Just copy the X path and paste in between the double quotes. So it will click on the radio button, guys, and it will filter out the results. So just let's try to run it. Run as Java application. So it should click on the stop one radio button, guys. So this is how you can use the axis. Axis are very useful, guys. 
because if you want to locate you will not be able to locate and every time value can be changed right you don't know it will become one way two way or zero one like what value they change in the back end so it is better you just refer one text and use it uh, as a relative expert for another web element so like this i have located stop one but we have to go on the preceding simply but with if you is normal you will not be able to go in the back side right but if you are using axis like preceding sibling you will be able to locate it you can see guys it has clicked on a stop one sorry i will run it again he was not able to see so i was just explaining i will run it again so that you can see so run as a java application So just run as a Java application, guys. 